Guys, this happened two months ago. I'm just getting caught up with the Cora Abidi story. And I'm looking at one of the videos now. And there are cops in her apartment. And they are questioning her about Alfina, the baby. Well, the female cop came into the apartment and she was saying her partner is outside. So I assume maybe her partner is a male. And I did not realize this thing got so nasty. It's out of control. There's no way that these two are putting on a show. Because some people have said that maybe they're putting on a show to boost the ratings and the money on social media. But no, honey, not when cops are called on you concerning your baby. There's no way these two are putting on a show. This is for real. These people are in a bitter dispute. But let's listen to what the cop have to say to her. Because like I said, I'm getting caught up. I didn't even know all this was happening. So the cop showed up at her door, wanting her to take her daughter's clothes off so she can check the daughter's body for injuries because the ex-husband reported that the child fell and he had to take her to get checked out. So the cop started to question her if she was aware that her ex-husband took the child to get checked out for injuries. And Cora said, no, when I dropped her off, she was 100% okay. So the cop said, can you take her clothes off so I can check for body injuries? And I said to myself, oh my God, that's a mother's, uh, you know, worst nightmare. For someone to be checking your child for injuries, which is implying that you did something to the child. And I am telling you, I did not realize this thing had gotten so nasty. So Cora told a female police officer when she dropped off her children, they were fine. When she dropped off Alfina, Alfina was fine. She did not drop her off with any injuries. So the cop said, take off her clothes. I got to examine her to make sure she doesn't have injuries. But Cora now needs, I guess, somebody to be around when she's dropping off those kids to vouch that the children are in 100% condition when she's taking them to this man's house. Because if something happens to those kids while they're in his care, he can always say it happened when the kids were in Cora's care. Because he put out that report on her, they might believe him. Because she didn't rebut. She did not put out a report and say that it was false, that whatever he put out was false. She needs to do a rebuttal report in answering to his charges and his allegations that she allegedly injured Alfina. Until she does that, she's going to be in that system, the sole person in the police department records, as being a potential abuser. And that's what he wanted to imprint on the police department that she might abuse the kids. When in fact, if he abuses the kids, he's going to lay blame on her. And because she didn't rebuke the first report, they might look at her sideways and question her more intensely this time around if he ever does it again. So if he put out another report of injury on any one of those kids, they, go, they might take the children from her because of that false reporting. So she's got to be so careful. Oh, my God, this is horrible. So Justin Dean is truly, you know, he is truly fighting dirty because this happened in November. And in January, two months after, he went to court to get sole custody of the kids. So here's the interaction between the female cop and Cora Obili concerned in Alfina. Hi, Cora. Hello. How are you? I'm great. Coming in. Thank you. Appreciate it. Oh, my partner's back there. Okay. Where is the baby? Where is the baby? She's right there. Hi, okay. baby. Right? Yep. Hi, Athena. Oh, you sick? Oh. How are you? How are you? Okay. Um, it says here she was taken to the 
doctor where you don't wear them? Uh, I take her to the doctor as well, but yeah, she. I was not. I was not informed. So you were not informed that she was went to the doctor maybe last week. Uh, he said something about I lied about her falling down. She never fell down. I gave her to him, um, her to him in perfect condition. And okay. can you help me out with something? Uh, I just need to check her her little body for any injuries. Sure. So the police officer just asked her if she's aware that Justin took the child to the doctor last week. At this point, Cora should have gotten a report from that doctor wherever Justin Dean took her to find out what kind of injuries he was talking about to document just for the record and file her own report at the police department. By reporting these false allegations, alleged false allegations, he has put her in the system. Now, her name is in the police department's record that they had a call. At some point, she's got to start fighting back because she's not fighting back. She's just, whatever he does, she's reacting, right? And just laying low and trying to keep the peace but no when he does stuff like this she's got to rebut she's got to if he's going to put out a false report on her like this 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 is a serious allegation that can cause her her children she's got to file a report on her own in rebuttal stating that his allegations are false and she did not injure her children she wants it on the record in the police department because she is from another land. She's from Nigeria in Africa. She might not know fully the system here on how it works. If somebody files a report on you and it's false, you file back on them stating that it was a false allegation and you might be suing them. Just establish the fact that it was a false allegation so it can be in the police record about this child abuse. So Cora has got to be so careful now. She's got to do her due diligence to have a witness whenever she's dropping those kids off that they're okay. So when she picks them up and if there are any injuries, she's got to report it immediately because some parents, I'm not saying um, uh, Dean will do this, Justin Dean. I'm saying some parents will deliberately hurt their children, return them to the other party, and then claim that there were injuries on those kids when they received them. So she's got to be very careful because this man is not playing with a full deck, okay? So the female cop wanted her to take the child's clothes off so she can check her body for injuries. Another thing I would do if I was in her shoe when I received those kids from him, I would check them immediately in the car. I would keep that engine going to warm up that car and I would strip them down to their knickies and check their body and then get them dressed again before I drive off. And if there are any injuries, I would point it out to him right away and take them straight to the hospital to document the injuries, get them checked out, then go straight to the police department and report it. Obviously, no injuries were found or else Cora would have been arrested for child abuse. So at that point, Cora should have filed charges against her ex-husband for false reporting her, for falsifying a report. Well, some people were saying someone reported it. But in my mind, Justin Dean is the one who reported her for this alleged child abuse because the police officer said, are you aware that Justin took the child to the to be checked out last week? And she said, no, she was not aware. So that tells me he's the one who did the reporting. He's the one who called the cops and said that the child fell and he had to take the child to be checked out. And he received the child that way. You know, she's got to learn how to fight fire with fire because if he's going to report her as being abusive, she's got to be aware that in this justice system, American justice system, you, that's not a 
a report or an allegation that you should take lightly. It's very serious. It can cost you your children. So YouTubers, if you were in her shoe, what would you guys do? If your ex-husband falsely, falsely accuse you, allegedly, because some people are saying it wasn't him. Allegedly, if your ex-husband accuse you of abusing one of the children, what would you do? Would you not put a report in to the police station that you did not abuse the children and file charges on him for falsely accusing you? I'm just curious to find out what would some of you do. I think uh, Cora is looking at this as he is after her and documenting her every move and action. But she is not fully aware that she can do the same. She's got to reverse this. Fight fire with fire. When he documents on her, she's got to learn how to document on him. Instead of crying on social media, she should have turned right around, went right down there to the police department, filed a report that he falsified these allegations so it can be on the record. Because right now, only her is appearing on the record for suspected child abuse. She's got to establish the fact that he's falsely reporting her. So guys, this is more serious than I thought. I mean, I've heard people talk about this story, but I did not hear anyone mention the fact that Justin had actually sent police officers over to Cora's apartment to check out the baby. But then again, I wasn't following the story and I wasn't really keen on listening to reports about Cora Beatty until recently because this thing is getting so nasty. Who knows? This is all alleged, but maybe the baby fell with him and he had to take her in and to cover himself just in case they found any injuries, he put it on Cora. It's all alleged, folks, but it crossed my mind. Because in the few times that I have seen him with those children, he really doesn't pay much attention. He's just hamming for the camera most of the time, looking at himself in the camera, making sure he's got a clear shot in front of the camera. So we've seen him with those kids when that baby plays by herself. And he's not paying attention. A lot of parents do that if the child falls with them. They will go get that child check, checked out and say this is how they receive the child. The first thing should have came to the cop's mind or in their investigation and reporting is when did you notice the injury? And when did you receive the child? If he received the child on a Tuesday and he knew, noticed the injury all the way to Sunday, that means the injuries were not there when he picked up the child. He is just fabricating to cover his ass. If he had reported the injuries the same day that he picked up the child, then you can say, well, maybe. But if he reported days after, then it's suspect. Maybe the injury happened on his watch, but he's just trying to cover himself. So I would like to know and would really love to know what day did he notice the injury and what day did he pick up that child? And when did he take the child to the doctor to be checked out? And it's all alleged if there were any injuries. Because like I said before, if there were injuries, Cora would have been arrested or an investigation would have been going on right now as to how fit she is as a mother to have those children in her care any further. So again... Here's the female cop walking into Cora Biddy's apartment and questioning her concerning Alfina, the baby. Oh, my partner's in front of Okay. Hi, Cora. Hello. How are you? I'm great. Coming in. Thank you. Appreciate it. Oh, my partner's in front of there. Okay. Where's the baby? She's right there. Hi, okay. baby. Right? Yep. Hi, Athena. Oh, you sick? How are you? How are you? Okay. Um, 
And since here she was taken to the doctor, were you aware of that? Uh, I take her to the doctor as well, but yeah, she. I was not. I was not informed. So you were not informed that she was went to the doctor maybe last week. Uh, he said something about I lied about her falling down. She never fell down. I gave her to him, um, her to him in perfect condition. And okay. can you help me out with something? Uh, I just need to check her her little body for any injuries. Sure. Obviously, they didn't find any injuries. He falsified that report, saying that he saw injuries and had to take the child to the doctor. So, she's got to now establish credibility on her end that this man did falsify that report. And they have her in the system falsely. So, I mean, all these things she's got to do. When you're not from the American system and you're not aware of everything you need to do in the judicial system, when people are coming after you, you drop the ball in a lot of things. And I wish someone had advised her that she needs to now turn around and file that report on him for falsifying the report on her, saying that Alfina fell in her care because it's not too late for her to file that he falsified that report and when you falsify a report cora can now go after her ex-husband she's got to establish the fact that the report was uh, falsified once she has that on file she can then go through a lawyer and file charges so the next time he does something that like this and report her falsely for child abuse they can look on the record and see how he is in a habit of falsifying reports on her. She's got to establish that. So I think uh, she is behind the ball right now, behind the curb, in doing what she needs to do to establish herself as credible. Because she's the only one that's in the system right now. He's not in the system, the system being the police department. Anyway, YouTubers, drop your comments. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel and to this video. Thank you for watching.